Okay, so Dr. William, I wanted to um, use this patient as an example. She's been nice enough to uh, let us do this filming to show you the example of what I like to call a mini mummy makeover. And so if you look at a traditional mummy makeover, it always means surgery of the breast and the tummy. And so traditionally what that has been is a tummy tuck and a breast lift or breast lift with implants. That's really the most common type of mummy makeover. And the, the reason we do mummy makeovers is because women who've gone through pregnancy have changes with their breast and tummy. But there's a whole group of women that have had the children and for various reasons they don't have the same degree of changes in their breast or the same degree of changes in their tummy. So they don't necessarily need a lift and they don't necessarily need a tummy tuck. And what they have lost is really just some volume in the breast and they've just lost some volume in the butt. And so for these patients this is what I call a mini mummy makeover because I'm really just restoring volume to the butt and I'm restoring volume to the breast. So it's a mini mummy makeover. If we look at her breast, she's, she's got something that's called pseudotosis. It's not a true droop of the breast because the nipple is actually in a good location. The nipple does not need to be lifted and the nipple is fine, but it kind of looks a little bit like a droop. So this is perfect for an augmentation. And so I'm just going to place an implant underneath through the incision under here and it's going to restore the cleavage that she's lacking. She's very flat through here and then the breast is very hollow in here. And so the implant is going to correct the cleavage and correct this hollowness here so she'll have a nice full breast again. You know when I was talking with her the other day during the consultation I explained you know the implant is actually going to select itself because we're using the implant as our tool. The implant's working for us to correct these problems. So the size of the implant is gonna be predicated upon filling out this hollowness and correcting the cleavage. Once the implant has done that, that's the size of the implant. In terms of her tummy, she's got some stretch marks here. She's got a little skin laxity, a little looseness from having, uh, you know, being pregnant but it's not enough that requires a tummy tuck. You can see there's not even enough skin here to do a tummy tuck, so for sure you couldn't even do a tummy tuck. But she's a very good candidate for lipo because she's already got some scooping out in here. So I'm gonna perform the traditional liposuction that I do, the OG lipo, to get rid of these fatty deposits here and to flatten her abdomen, bring her waist in. So she's gonna have 360 lipo. And then in the back, all of the lipo, you know, the OG lipo always starts up high. And so it actually is gonna, we're gonna lipo all of this area. This is actually how I mark these areas. So we're gonna have lipo all the way through here, all down here, all down here. Of course, we're gonna lipo the key area. All that will be lipo. And then this hollowing here, this kind of loss of volume that she has, experience is going to be corrected because all of the fat that I take from the liposuction we're going to fill this hollowing in here so we're going to build her a hip no lonely hip so I'm going to end up probably grafting a little bit into her leg so that as this line comes in instead of being flat through here as this line comes up it's going to come out and then because I've lipo the key area after that comes up and goes out it starts to come in and that'll go in all the way up to her back and that's going to give her the really nice OG shape. We're going to give her more volume between these two things. I think she's a really good candidate and she's going to look really good. The recovery is always, you know, a little bit tricky because with a BBL, you can't lay or sit on your, your butt and people are concerned with a breast augmentation that you can't lay on your tummy. The reality is, is you actually can lay on your tummy after breast augmentation. And it can be made easier if you just take a pillow here and a pillow here when you're recovering, then you can lay on your tummy and you, you kind of offload some of the pressure on the breast. But she's not gonna do any damage to her breast by laying on her tummy after surgery. And so, you know, we really want that because we don't want her to inhibit the way the fat grows or the fat takes in the, in the butt after surgery, so. 
All right, so let me finish my markings and then we will go to the OR. We have finished the first half of this mini mommy makeover and that is the BBL. So everything went really nicely. Liposuction performed up here in this key area and that's really rounded her really well. She's got some good projection. She's got a really nice shape here. I love this shape with her. So with the mini mommy makeover, we're just kind of restoring the volume. She's lost a little bit of breast volume. She's lost a little bit of volume in her butt. And by doing a BBL combined with the breast augmentation, it's going to restore that and just kind of take her back to where she was prior to having pregnancy. It's not the same as a mummy makeover because that usually involves a little bit more extensive work, doing a lift or doing a tummy tuck. And here we're just doing a mini mummy makeover, completed the BBL, have a super great shape. And we are going to flip her over and I'm going to show you what she looks like from the front with her hips. And I'm going to show you also her breast augmentation. And I just wanted you to kind of see what she looks like from the front. We're always showing the back and the hips on the back, but I think she looks really good from the front too. But you're going to be able to see her waist is going to come in. And so now we're looking at that really nice hip that's being built out here. We have completed step two of this mini mummy makeover and that was breast augmentation. So she's had the BBL and she has the hips and now the hips come out and they come in, she has a nice small waist. And now this is really just a continuation of that shape. So she just had a simple straightforward breast augmentation. The incision is under the breast so that later when she stands up, the incision is gonna be concealed. You're not gonna be able to see this. And the implant we have used to give her more volume, a rounder shape, more fullness up top, and more cleavage. And so remember, she had that hollowing out in the upper pole. So the implant is just, it's our tool. That's why your friend's implant is not your implant because we use the implant to solve the problems that the breast is presenting us with. So here we have everything is restored. Her butt has now got volume again. Her waist is thinner and her breasts are fuller. So a little mini mummy makeover and she looks wonderful. Hey, thank you for watching and if you want to see more videos like this, remember to subscribe to my channel, click the like button and fill out the comments, ask me questions. I'm happy to talk about any other topic that you'd like to speak about. Just leave a comment below and I'll make a future video on it. Thanks so much for watching.